Just hooked up uh, another yellowfin tuner out of these uh, these birds out of this workup. And uh, when Chris gets back after he's cleared the rest of some of this gear, we'll have a wee chat about technique. This is stand up, the other system with the big chair, the nice comfy thing, the, the lounge suite variety. That's a more traditional approach to game fishing, but uh, a lot of sport anglers now choose to do everything stand up, which is exactly what this is. Makes you feel as though you're uh, doing your fishing aerobics. Just want to come in here. I asked you before, and uh, we were in interrupted by that uh, fish arriving at the boat. Just talking about how to to handle yellowfin most effectively when when you get them close. Well, what was the answer to that? Well, just keep running ahead. Just keep running into 33 knots. Just keep the boat moving ahead. The fish will actually just swim along the side. Just keep swimming because it's only natural for the fish to swim. So if you, as soon as you stop your boat, which a lot of people do, they stop the boat and the yellowfin goes round and round in circles. And that's where it twists the hooks, pulls the hooks out or like that, or it gets cut off on the boat. So if you can keep your boat moving ahead, you just keep the fish swimming straight ahead and you just lead it up gently alongside. Okay. Whichever technique you use, you've got to keep uh, your rod tip pointing at the line angle. Hopefully, as you'll see, when uh, we hook that uh, elusive marlin, Sometimes the fish will come up jumping over here and your line angle is about here. You always point the rod at the, the line angle. Bananas. Bananas. No. No. The other little piece of information too is that this is 30 pound line and uh, the other fish was on uh, 50 pound. Or well, this is 15 kilo, sorry. And the other is 24. This is a really comfortable harness. Yeah. Just takes the weight right down on your thighs, takes it off your back. Faces. We're going to wind the uh, swivel to the rod tip again. Stops it from uh, looping around the tip and busting off if the fish decides to run. And back the drag down so that the fish does decide to go when it's near the boat, or the dicky decides to let it go. Then it can run freely. Oh, good swell. Easy. Good fun. Woo -hoo! Whoa, that's a good fin. That's a good fin on 15, mate. That's a beauty. Woo! Where is it? Up there. Wow, that is, that's not bad. On 15? That's a honey. Gee. What do you reckon he is, Skipper? Oh, he's got to be close to 40 kilos. Yeah. 40 kilos on uh, 15 or 30 pound gear. So uh, that's not bad fun. <laughs>